Hey guys, it's me Zyro back again with another video on a newly started series by me which is simple ransomware development using cryptography module in Python. And in today's video, we are gonna have a look at how to encrypt and decrypt files in Python. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also join my Discord server to clear any of your doubts or to connect to me. The link is given in the description. So without any further ado, let's start the main part. So first of all, I would like to explain the modules that we are going to use throughout the series. Here you have a PPD open in front of you describing the cryptography of Fernet module that we will be using a lot in this series. The Fernet module of the cryptography package has uh, inbuilt functions for the generation of the key, encryption of pen plain text into ciphertext and vice versa, uh, using the encrypt and decrypt methods respectively. And you can see some explanations given on the PPT. You can just read it or you can research more on Google. Okay, so let's move to the practical part. So moving towards the practical part, let's start with the encryptor. Firstly, import Fernet from cryptography.fernet. Now let's generate a unique key to encrypt and decrypt the file. So for that you have to type fernet.generate key. Now in order to keep the backup of the key, we will open a file called key.key .key in write bytes mode and save the unique generated key into it. Now let's run the program to see whether the keys are getting stored and are they in unique every time we run the program. As you can see, the key is generated and stored in the key file. Also, every time you run the program, the key will be unique. Moving further to encrypt the data of the file, we will create a variable called Fernet and initialize the Fernet class using Fernet and uh, in the brackets giving the key as the parameter. Now let's get the original bytes of the target file and encrypt it. So for that, I opened the file in read bytes mode and stored the original bytes in TF bytes variable. Now we'll encrypt the original bytes using Fernet variable that we created earlier dot encrypt and giving the TF bytes as parameter in which the original bytes are stored and in this way we are storing the encrypted bytes in TF bytes ENC variable. Now the last step is to write the encrypted bytes back into the target file. So here I opened the target file in write bytes mode and writing the encrypted bytes using dot write and giving the TF bytes ENC variable as the parameter in which the encrypted bytes are stored. At this point, we have our encryptor script ready to encrypt a particular file. And uh, here you go, you see the original content of access code.csv file. Uh, now let's run the program and see the results. Here's the key which is used to encrypt the file and there you go. You see the original content is replaced with complete gibberish content and uh, it's actually encrypted so uh, let's now move to the decryptor part and see how we can decrypt the same now with that being said let's begin with the decryptor file so doing the same importing the same module that is fernet from cryptography.fernet then getting the key from the key.key .key file uh, with which our target file is encrypted Here we initialize the Fernet class. Now we will be getting the encrypted bytes from the target file. Then decrypting it using the key and storing the decrypted bytes in TF bytes DEC variable. At last we will be writing the decrypted bytes into the target file. And uh, here our script ends. Uh, now first let me show you the encrypted bytes. Now let's run the program and uh, it's successfully executed. Now let's see the, as you can see the content of our target file that is xscode.csv is now decrypted and is back to the original. 
with that being said i would like to wind the video here in the next videos in this series we'll be taking a look on how we can recursively encrypt all the files with all different types of extension and decrypt them back uh, and at this point i will be ending the video here make sure to subscribe the channel like the video and comment your feedbacks also the link to my discord server is mentioned in the description make sure to join that too uh, till then i will catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching